Hello, this is a video tutorial for the herbicide potion on Pottermore. Let's go to potions class. Here's my potions book, Magical Drafts and Potions. And here is the potion, herbicide. I'll be using my copper cauldron. It has the fastest brewing time. These are the ingredients I need, flavorworm mucus, pork lump juice, and spines of lionfish. Herbicide potion, or herbie as we call it, is relatively easy to brew as potions go. However, it can be a little tricky for new brewers, so here are some things to be aware of before I begin. Except for a standard ingredient, all of the other ingredients need to be poured from bottles. Make sure to pick up all of the bottles by the neck, right here and here and here, uh, for ease of handling. Pour slowly and carefully and watch the counter as the ingredients pour out. Try not to jerk the bottles around. Extra ingredients may escape fall into the mortar or cauldron and ruin your potion. Make sure to watch the heating element uh, and keep the temperature gauge within range between the two crossbars. Click on the red button to start the heating, but as soon as the gauge reaches the lower crossbar, click on the orange button to lower the heat and slow down the gauge. Continue to click back and forth between the blue and orange buttons until the heating time is up. Most importantly, as you see here in instruction number 10, it says, add two blobs of flabberworm mucus to your cauldron while it's still on the heat. Ignore that bit about the heat and just go ahead and add the flabberworm mucus to the cauldron. Pottermore has removed that bit about the heat from brewing, but even though it's still here in the instructions, just ignore it. I suppose eventually they'll get around to re removing it. But as I said, add the flabberworm mucus and then continue by stirring four times clockwise. You can click back and forth between the instruction book over here and each step. I prefer to copy the instructions on sticky notes and refer to them. All right, here we go. Add four lionfish spines to the mortar. Up we go and over carefully. Set it down and then lift it up. Slowly and carefully and count. One, two, three, four. Crush to a rough powder. And now add two standard ingredients to the mortar. One, two, again crush to a rough powder. Add three of the crushed ingredients to the cauldron. One, two, three, and wave my wand. Okay. I can come back in 45 minutes to see if this has worked. Um, you will have uh, an extra 22 minutes in case you don't go uh, get back in time. Uh, a word about the ingredients. Pottermore always supplies the standard ingredient, so you never need to worry about it if it's uh, needed for any potion. The other ingredients for Herbie, the flabberworm mucus, hook lump juice, and lionfish spines, may all be purchased from the apothecary, collected from certain moments in the chapters, and gifted between you and your Pottermore friends. I would urge you to collect them or ask friends to gift them to you, because you get relatively very few per galleon, and you don't want to waste your money. All right, be back shortly. Okay, our brewing time is almost finished. 
Uh, there is one thing you should be careful about uh, in this part of the brewing process. After pouring in the two measures of horklum juice uh, into the cauldron, don't put the horklum juice bottle down in front of the flabberworm mucus bottle. If you do, you're going to have a difficult time grabbing hold of the flabberworm mucus bottle. All right, let's finish brewing. I need to add two measures of pork lump juice to the cauldron. Watch the counter. One, two, and put that bottle over here. Heat. And as soon as that gauge reaches the bottom bar, I'm clicking on the orange. And I'm clicking back and forth between the blue and orange buttons to keep the gauge within range. And off. And now add two flabberworm mucuses to the cauldron. One, two, bottle down. Stir clockwise four times. One, two, three, four. Wave my wand. And I have successfully brewed herbicide and been awarded nine house points for this achievement. As I mentioned earlier, herbicide is probably the easiest potion to brew after the cure for boils potion. Once you've mastered handling the bottles and pouring out the ingredients. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Good luck and have fun brewing herbicide potion.